Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. Just a quick video today for you on the Apple TV YouTube application. Now I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos and I find watching them on the Apple TV is a great way to watch your videos in full HD and obviously on a big screen. Now most videos I watch on YouTube are from people I'm already subscribed to and on your YouTube you can basically go on and view your subscription list and view all the channels you subscribe to. But there's no way of viewing the latest uploads. You basically got to go into every individual channel to see if that person's uploaded a new video. Obviously this is something you're not going to do if you're subscribed to a lot of people like me. As you can see here on the iPhone application, when you go into your subscriptions, you've obviously got all the channels you subscribe to, but also at the top you've got a category called new videos, which show you the latest videos from people you're subscribed to. And this is pretty much the same on any device out there and same with the actual website on the computer. But unfortunately the Apple TV doesn't provide this which is a little bit of a downer. So I've kind of come up with a solution what works for me and basically what I do is I go onto my web browser on my computer or this can be on my iPhone, my iPad, Android device, whatever it may be and I actually create playlists. So best way for me to explain this is just to show you. So as you can see here I'm in my subscription box and these are the latest videos. So what I'll do is open up each of these videos, like so, and in this first video I will go down to add to, then what I want to do here is create a new playlist, so let's quickly name it, Apple TV, I usually leave it private because it's just like from a personal watching, like so, create the playlist, then we just tap on the playlist to add this video, so that video has now been added. We go to the second video I've opened up, back down to add to again, tap on the playlist again to add this video, so we've got two videos in there now as you can see, and then finally, last video we'll add that as well, and we'll tap on the playlist, so there you go, we've got three videos in that playlist. So again, just to repeat, you can do this on any mobile device just about, or any tablet, it's not just obviously restricted to the laptop. So we're back on the Apple TV, so let's go to the YouTube app again. I want to go down to our account, then we need to select playlists and as we can see when we go into the playlist here we've got the Apple TV playlist we've, we created and if we go into that we can see all the videos we've added to the Apple TV playlist. So I found this to be quite a good solution overall and I actually find that now the Apple TV um, YouTube application is quite useful now whereas before it's probably something I would never use whereas now I can view my latest videos on the Apple TV I find it to be quite good. So hopefully some of you guys found this video quite useful. If you did then please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.